Hello and welcome to the second Caxi Athletic interview of the 2022 to 2023 school year. I'm here with Tatum Young, who's going to continue her basketball career at Wheaton College in Massachusetts. Tatum, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you, JJ. Okay, so give us a little bit of context, how you started your basketball career going, growing up where you grew up. Okay, so I've, um, my dad was in the Navy, so I've been moved around a lot. So I was living in Texas at the time, and I was there for kindergarten, first grade. So in kindergarten, I played with the whole guy's soccer team. So it's just like a little league type of soccer team. And I was the only girl on the team. So after soccer ended, they all went and played upward basketball, which is like, I think, actually, I think it's like a church organization, something like that, something to go along with that. Um, but yeah, so they all went and played basketball. And I was like, okay, I guess I'll play. And my mom coached with along with another uh, soccer mom. And I absolutely hated basketball. Like, I, I hated it. And um, I didn't like doing sprints because they would make us run at practice. I mean, given soccer has a lot more running than um, basketball does, I would say. But, yeah, I did not like basketball. But then we moved to Tennessee for se my second grade year. And um, my friend Addison, they had an elementary school team, basketball team at my school I went to. And my friend talked me into trying out for the team. So I tried out. And ever since then, I've absolutely loved basketball. So I've been playing since first grade. Didn't really like it. And then second grade on, I actually have, like, it's been my dream to play in college. So. Okay. And then your freshman year, you played at a school in central Illinois. Mm -hmm. And then COVID hit. And then your sophomore year, you transferred to LFA. Yes. So can you talk about that process, how you found out about LFA and what made you want to come here as an athlete and a student? Yeah, so freshman year, I was at Moreau Forsyth High School, which is in central Illinois. Um, it's two towns combined, so that's what, like, central Illinois, our towns are so small, you have to combine them. <laughs> um, so I went to a public school, and then during my basketball season, in the middle of the season, I realized I needed to get somewhere where I would have better opportunities, not only for basketball, but also for like education wise and like obviously other opportunities like I've been able to have here. Um, so I started looking at boarding schools. LFA was one of the first ones to pop up, started looking on their website and I told my mom, I'm like, hey, can I go to boarding school? Like, would you guys be like in for that? And like, let me go through this process. And they kind of joked around, they were like, you would actually go to a boarding school. And I'm like, yeah. So they made it a joke before I even started looking. They would be like, would you go to a boarding school? Ha <laughs> ha, like a joke. And then I actually started looking into it. And then I told them, they're like, oh, you're for real. Like mm -hmm. you actually want to go to a boarding school. And I was like, yeah. So I only applied to LFA. I came here for a shadow day and it just felt like my place. Like I, as soon as I was on campus, it just, it felt like home to me. And, um, yeah, so it was a long shot, and everything had to go perfectly um, with, like, financial stuff and obviously a lot of um, moving parts about coming up here and boarding, but everything worked out, and as I say, everything happens for a reason, so I'm here today because of it. Okay, nice. Can you talk a little bit more about your experience on the basketball team? Yeah, so um, I actually was interviewed by the boys' basketball coach, so he kind of talked to me about basketball and the opportunities here. And um, when I first came in, I the basketball team was 1-23, and so they had only won one game. So that was kind of, like, in the back of my head. But I also knew that I'd have, like, the AAU opportunity up here in Chicago. Um, so that was another driving force why I came up here. But came in 1-22, and 23, whatever it may have been. And then um, that year our team went, I believe, 7-2, and two, something like that. Mm -hmm. So we had a winning record. It flipped from the year before. To then. And that was COVID year, so you obviously yes. played less so games. so we played less games, and um, we actually got quarantined. Well, I got quarantined twice <laughs> that year. <laughs> they pushed back the basketball season one week, and then um, the second time... Wait, was it... Actually, no. I don't even remember. Was that last year? No, it was, was the year before. That it was, was the, year the before. It was the COVID year. Um, but yeah, so we got quarantined twice. So I was quarantined for a month during that basketball <laughs> season, and then we ended up only playing like nine games. Mm -hmm. But... Okay, and then how did you discover Wheaton College, and how did LFA maybe help you discover them, or what about Wheaton College made it appealing for you? So Wheaton College, the coaches reached out to one of my AAU coaches, who that AAU coach then reached out to my AAU coach from last year, so a little mm -hmm. bit confusing. I just switched 
um, clubs. So I was with full package and then switched the all, all in. So they contacted my full package coach who contacted my all in coach. And um, I feel like my coach is here. So like coach Carter and um, a bunch of other people that I have been involved with, they helped contact we and coaches too to let them know hey this is who she is as a person and she would be a great fit and um, but I never knew about we in college before they contacted like me and got mm -hmm. in touch with me so obviously I started looking into them and I I mean it's a perfect place for me it's a d3 school small liberal arts um able to continue music while also pursuing a, a major and a minor which I wouldn't be able to do at a higher level level of basketball so I feel like it worked out for the better but I feel like LFA with my college counselors helped out with that process okay and then one final regard to any uh female basketball player who wants to transfer to LFA any last bit of advice you want to give to them honestly transferring was the best decision I've ever made because not only you're having that high level of basketball here which has been growing since my sophomore year I've seen it grow and we've been to like New York and mm -hmm. um, New Jersey places like that to play and um, seeing that growth is amazing and I feel like more transfer basketball players definitely can make a change here and um Honestly, I mean, I could see this program growing into something really big and being like a La Lumiere type of school, which would be awesome to see. But um, my biggest advice is just try everything. I mean, you come here, you think you're only going to be doing basketball in school, and then you realize there's so much more to actually do, like clubs and um, music stuff, art stuff. Like, you're not going to just be a basketball player, you're also going to be a student, athlete, and then you're also going to have those extracurriculars that you usually don't have at a public school. So. All right. Well, thank you so much, Tanner, for being here, and we wish you the best of luck going forward. Thank you.